Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to hide the default sidebar in the Contempo theme in your Blogger website. So here we can see this is a Blogger website and I have applied the Contempo theme. So if we go back to our Blogger dashboard and if you go to theme, we can see that we have selected the Contempo Lite theme which comes by default with Blogger. And here we have this menu button and if I click on that, we have this sidebar displayed over here. Now in this video, I'll show you how to disable this sidebar and uh, I will also show you how to add a basic sidebar over here and I have a lot of videos on creating sidebars for your website. So you can watch any of those videos and add the sidebar over here. So let's get started. Now it is really simple to disable the sidebar. If you just hide this menu button, then the sidebar won't be able to appear on the screen. So what we will do is we'll just get the selector of this uh, menu button and then we will just hide it using CSS. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, if we scroll up, we can see that this is the button. So here we can see we have this button with the class of hamburger menu. So this is the selector. So let's select this and let's copy it from here. And let's go to our theme code. So let's go to the dashboard and uh, here in theme, you can go over here to this arrow and click on edit HTML. And let's scroll down and go to the CSS. So this is all the CSS of the theme. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom. And this is where the CSS ends. So I'll just make some space over here. And uh, here we just paste the selector. And here I'll just type display and set it to none. All right, now let's click on save. All right, now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the menu button is not being displayed over here. And now we don't have the access to the sidebar. So that's how you can disable the sidebar in the Contempo theme in your Blogger website. Now let me show you how to add your own sidebar over here. So for that, let's go back to our theme code and I'll just create a basic sidebar. I'll just create a division. So I'll just go to the end of the theme code and just before the body ends, we'll just create a division for the menu button. So we will create a new menu button. So let's create a division and let's give it a class of custom hamburger menu. And in this division, I'll just add a text menu and let's close the division over here. Now this is going to be the menu button. Now you can go ahead and replace this text with your own icon or whatever you want over here. You can also use font or some icons over here. I'll just stick to this text and now let's create the sidebar. So I'll just create a division and we'll just give it a class of custom sidebar. And let's close the division over here. Now in this division, you can go ahead and add your own code for the sidebar. I'll just keep it simple and I'll just add a close button over here. So let's create a division and I will just give it a class of close BTN or close button. And uh, for the close button, I'll just add a text close and let's close the division over here. And here also you can use an icon or you can also use font or some icons over here in place of this text. Now we need to style this using CSS, but before that, let's go ahead and save this theme. Right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and if you scroll down we can see that we have the sidebar and also the hamburger menu now let's go ahead and style this using css so i'll just right click over here and click on inspect and let's add some basic css over here so what we need to do is we need to add this menu button over here at the top here we can see we have selected the custom hamburger menu and uh, let's set the position to absolute and we'll set the top position to zero and the left position to zero. And let's also add a Z index of some higher value so that it is about this image over here. So let's set the value to 300. And now we can see here we have the menu button displayed over here. Now what we need to do is position this menu button over here. So for that, what we will do is uh, we will take a look at the max width of these uh, elements over here. So if you go over here to page and if I go over here to page body and in that we have this centered division and in that we can see that we have this max width of 922 pixels already set by the theme. So let's add the same width for this uh, menu button so that it has the correct position. So let's select this uh, menu button and uh, we will set a max width of 922 pixels and uh, let's add a background color and uh, let's see what is the width 
Now here we can see we don't have a width of 922 pixels. So here we'll also add a right position and we'll just set it to zero. So now we can see we have this max width of 922 pixels. Now let's bring it to the center. So here I'll just type margin and zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And now we can see we have the correct width for this element. Now let's also set the box sizing to border box so that even if we add some padding, we have the correct width. So now let's add a padding of, let's try 24 pixels and that looks all right. Now let's remove this background color and uh, now let's set the color of the text to white and we'll also add font weight to bold and I think that's it with the menu button. So let's copy all of these CSS from here and let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the CSS. So we had a class of custom hamburger menu and let's paste all the CSS over here and let's remove this background color line from here. All right, now let's add some basic styles to the custom sidebar. So for the sidebar, we had set a class of custom sidebar. If right click over here and click on inspect, here you can see we have this custom sidebar. So let's style that. We'll just add some basic styles over here. So I'll just tap dot custom sidebar and we'll set the position to fixed and we'll set the left position to zero and the top position to zero. And we'll also set a height of 100 viewport height and we'll set the width to 240 pixels. And let's add a background color. Let's just try light blue and uh, we'll also add a Z index. Let's set it to 400. And now let's save this. All right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And here we can see our basic sidebar displayed over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hide this sidebar by default. And when we click on the menu button, we want to display this sidebar. So let's go back. And here I'll just set the opacity to zero. And I'll also set the pointer events to none so that you cannot click on the elements of the custom sidebar when it is hidden. And let's also add a transition so that we have smooth animation. And we'll set it to all 300 milliseconds ease. Now what we will do is we will add a class called active to the custom sidebar when we want it to be displayed. So let's type custom sidebar dot active. And here we'll set the opacity back to one and we'll set the pointer events back to auto. And now let's save this. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we have this menu button displayed over here. Now the last thing we need to do is when we click on this menu button, we want to display the sidebar. And when we click on the close button, we want to hide the sidebar. So for that, we will use some JavaScript. Let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the end of our code. And here I'll just create a script tag. And here we will add the JavaScript. So the first thing we will do is we will reference all of these elements. So let's type const custom sidebar equals document dot query selector and here I'll just tap custom sidebar and then we will select this close button so let's tap const close button equals document dot query selector close btn or we'll just tap custom sidebar close button and then we need to reference this custom hamburger menu so let's type const custom hamburger menu equals document dot query selector and here I'll just type custom hamburger menu All right now let's add event listeners to these elements so let's type custom hamburger menu dot add event listener and we will listen for the click event and let's create an arrow function over here and here we just need to add the active class to the custom sidebar so let's type custom sidebar dot class list dot add active and now in the same way we need to remove the active class when we click on the close button. So I'll just copy this 
and let's paste it down here and let's change this to close button and here I'll just type remove instead of add and now let's click on save right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now let's click on this menu button and we have the sidebar displayed over here and if I click on this close button the sidebar is hidden so that's basically how you remove the default sidebar from the contempo theme and add your own custom sidebar now this is just a simple division with this close button now you can go ahead and add your own elements over here you can also add images links or whatever you want over here and i also have videos on creating sidebars from scratch using html css and javascript so you can go ahead and check that out in this channel as well all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Bye.